Hot hat? Check. Tool belt? Check. Mayonnaise? Check. Can I fix lunch? Yes, I can! Wendy and Leo don't know how lucky they are today, Pilchard. I'm making them a surprise. Sardine sandwiches a la Bob! <laughs> Morning, team. Morning, Bob. Let's go. Today, we're finishing work on Chef Tatty's brand new revolving restaurant, the Flying Saucepan. Woohoo! Awesome. It looks like a spaceship. That's the whole idea, Scoop. So I'll be building the kitchen, while Leo, Muck, Scoop, and Lofty will decorate this entrance. We'll have a spaceship ramp and moon rocks to make it look like we're on another planet. Yay! And I'll be wiring the floor so that it turns round and round like a merry-go-round, so diners can enjoy different scenery while they eat. Does that sound fun? Yay! And for you two, an extra special treat. I've made my speciality dish for lunch. Sardine sandwiches! Yay! Yay. I knew you'd be excited. Hello, Chef Tatty. Oh, it's my favourite team of building buddies. Can we give you a hand? Aye. There are ingredients for my chef's special at the opening banquet tonight. Creamy aubergine fettuccine and flame-grilled meatballs with a hint of rosemary. Mmm. Now that sounds delicious. But not quite as delicious as my sardine sarnies, eh? Right, team. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! Great job, everyone. It really looks like the kind of place an alien will call home. Um, what's an alien? Everyone knows what an alien is. It's, a uh, um... Leo, what's an alien? Aliens are little green men. Visitors from a faraway planet. Like tourists. On a holiday. What do they look like? Well, I think they have a green skin and three eyes and four legs. And for breakfast, they like to eat. Lunch! I'll be back soon. Stay out of trouble, you three. Little green men look like friendly little creatures. I'd love to meet one. <gasps> look! Green footprints with one, two, three, <gasps> four feet. They must belong to a little green man. Perhaps he's here on holiday in Spring City. Yay! Come on, everyone, follow me. The little green man went this way. the last floor panel fitted. Let's take it for a test spin. Bravo! That is brilliant! With this remote control, we can change the speed of the revolving floor. You can even change direction. That's great, Wendy. You've certainly earned your sardine sandwiches. I hope everyone's hungry. Feast your eyes on these delicious crumbs. Someone's eaten all of my sardine sandwiches. Not a problem. Why not just whip up an omelette on the cooktop? Oh, um, I'm afraid I don't know how to make anything fancy. Trust me, my wee building buddy. Anyone can cook. Chef Tetty will teach you. 
You see, cooking is a simple art. This is my paintbrush. Just like this is your paintbrush. That's a hammer. Let's sizzle! Oops. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Bob. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. OK, Bob. Ready, steady, fliff! What happened to the... omelette? Into me you and it's so unfair. I mean, I know you did the bump sandwich there. In three, two, one. The aliens in the lift. Oh, no. Lunch is served. Bon appetit. Uh, looks scrumptious. <laughs> it tasted better when it was on my head. I guess not everyone's a whiz in the kitchen. Are we going faster? That's not supposed to happen. Whoa! Whoa! She wants to go home. Uh oh. Oh no! Help! Bob, do something! Fast! Oh. Oh. <sighs> Got it. Pilchard, fancy a sardine sandwich a la Bob for supper? Someone likes my cooking. Leo? Chef Tatty? Are you OK? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We've only got an hour until the guests arrive, and we need to finish the kitchen. And I need to finish my banquet. Mayor Madison's the guest of honour, and she's never late. We'd better get building. I'd better get cooking. And voila! The little green man didn't go home after all. He's decided to stay. He's here. I'll try to talk to him. <clears throat> Greetings, space tourist from a faraway planet. I am your friend, Mark. Hello, Mark. It's space. Leo? <laughs> And Pilchard. She's got green paint on her paws. So it wasn't a little green man, but a little blue cat. <laughs> now I feel a bit silly. Oh, <laughs> you are a friendly little creature after all. Wow! Doesn't this alien entrance look fabulous, Mr. Bentley? Look, Mayor, there's even a trail of alien footprints. A nice touch. Mm, isn't it? <laughs> Voila! Mmm, delicious! Thank you, Chef Tatty. <laughs> and thank you, Bob. You truly are 
a whiz in the kitchen. Just stay away from omelettes and sardine sandwiches. Right, team. Today, Fixum Zoo is getting its first ever giraffe. So we're going to be finishing off the new giraffe enclosure. Yay! Yay! Um, what's an enclosure, Wendy? Well, Scoop, it's an area in the zoo where an animal lives. It'll be the giraffe's own special home. Oh, a real giraffe? I love giraffes. They're my favourite animal because their necks are really, really long. Just like my gem. They are. That's great, Lofty. Now, we'll need you outside. Yes, Bob. You have to lift all our building supplies over the zoo fence. Right, Bob. And the rest of us will be inside finishing the giraffe enclosure. OK, everyone. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait to see the giraffe. <laughs> oh, no. This fence is really high. I'll never be able to see the giraffe over that. So, we've got the basics done. We just need those materials from Lofty. OK, everyone, let's go. Bob? Bob? What's the matter, Jenny? I've lost Gertie. Um... My long-haired Peruvian guinea pig. One minute I was feeding her, and the next minute she completely disappeared. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. I've looked everywhere. Is it my imagination or is Jenny's hair moving? Uh, Jenny, I think there might be one place you haven't looked. Oh, no. Don't make me go back in the monkey house. <laughs> Don't worry. Here she is. Oh, <laughs> who's a naughty girl? <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Wow, this is all looking marvellous. I'm sure the giraffe will love it. Jenny, like Bertie does. Not yet, Dizzy. Maybe we can give him a name when he gets here. Right, we need to get you back to your enclosure, Gertie. Gertie? Gertie? Oh. Gertie? Gertie, Gertie, Gertie! Gertie! Right. We'd best get moving, then. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Thanks, Leo. Is the giraffe there yet? Is it? Is it? Is it? Not yet, Lofty. We've got a lot more building to do before then. Oh. I know everything there is to know about giraffes. I even know what they have for lunch. What's that, Lofty? Leaves and flowers and fruit and seeds and herbs and vines. <laughs> This should keep the giraffe safely in his home. Just the last few rocks to come over, Leo. <laughs> Where do you want these leaves, Bob? That's the giraffe's food. Just put it over by the viewing platform. Can you lift over the last few rocks, Lofty? OK, Leo. Here they come. The giraffe is here. Welcome to Fixum Zoo, Mr. Giraffe. Oh, 
I can't see it. He'll... Oh, and I can't move because I've got this load. Wait there, Lofty. I better see if Bob needs my help to get him in. But Leo, he's so tall. Oh no! I want to see him. Wow! He's amazing. There must be a gap. Maybe if I get close enough. If I can just peek through. Hello. Lofty. I'm really sorry, Bob. I just wanted to see the giraffe. <laughs> oh, that crashing scared the giraffe. It's run off into the zoo. Oh, dear. I've broken everything and made the giraffe run away. Don't worry, Lofty. I'm sure we can sort it all out. Wendy and Leo, can you repair the fences and the viewing platform and scoop? Can you help them? OK, okay Bob. Bob. And the rest of us will split up and find the giraffe. OK, okay, okay Bob. Bob. of him anywhere. He's probably lost forever. Oh, no. Don't worry, Lofty. There must be a way to find him. The poor thing. He hasn't even had his lunch yet. <gasps> That's it. What's it? If it's the giraffe's lunch time, he might come out if he sees some food. Good idea, Lofty. If you drive slowly around the zoo, he's bound to smell the food and come out to get some. Let's go. But go really slowly. I will, Bob. And quiet. some lunch. I've got some lovely tasty leaves for you. It's working, Lofty. Oh, wow. Look at him. Isn't he great? Now we just need to lead him back to the enclosure. OK, Bob. You're welcome. Jenny, what are you going to call the giraffe? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. <gasps> what about Lofty the giraffe after Lofty the crane who helped find him? I think that's a marvellous idea. 
Really? After me? Fantastic! <laughs> Hello, Lofty! The giraffe! <laughs> Scoop's a nice name too, you know. <laughs>